Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. Today we will be talking about how to adjust the keystone of your projector, how to adjust your projector to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is made for most TV programs, and also a 2.35 to 1 ratio, which is made for most movies, like at your, your movie theater. And then we'll do a quick overview of the BenQ W1070's menu. So I hope you guys enjoy. See you in a sec. All right, welcome back. And here I have my Chromecast plugged in. And I'm going to show you exactly how the projector is, how you can fix the sides here and make sure you can get the correct screen. As you can see, my screen here is cut off. It has white bars on the side. That is because it's at a 16 by 9 image, but the screen is not pulled down all the way, so I can't have it show the, the sides out correctly. But in that advantage, I can put it into the 2.35 by 1 image, which is the movie format. And I can show you guys that in a second. So here on the remote, the BenQ remote, if you guys have a different projector, you'd have to check out the settings on that. But there is a test button that will automatically open up to a screen like this. to where you can make sure you can get the correct zoom and um, keystone corrections if it does have that. So if I enter into my keystone button here, you can see it's on 7. But if I put it to the original file, you can see that my projector has a keystone because of the position I put the projector. It is slightly leaning downwards. So to figure out exactly how to make the keystone correct, what I re recommend doing is making sure the zoom is correct and to at least to where you want the top and the bottom of the screen to be. So what I'll do is I'll adjust it to where you think it looks about right. So I had it around 7. So if I set the remote down, I take out a tape measure. This is really good for um, testing the keystone in certain spots is you can actually measure it in the corner here from where the screen you see it and it measures at about seven and a half inches and if I come up on the top it measures seven and a half inches so now I know what seven and a half on the top and bottom that's about right for the keystone because the sides are angled out so if you measured seven and a half and then you had nine and a half in the bottom you know your keystone is off a bit so if I come over here, I can make sure that these corners on this side is correct too. This measures at 7, and up here measures at 7. So I can see here that the projector right now, if I, it's slightly, i got to move it side by side just to make sure it's equal on both sides, but I think it's fine just an inch is off. You, no one would really notice. So that's with that image. So I'm going to come right back and I'm going to put on the, a movie. I won't play it. I'm just going to show you with the, long, with the bigger format. And then we can see exactly how that works. All right, so I got a video finally up. I went through Plex and I put a movie up. So this is Big Hero 6. And as you see, the aspect ratio from the original where I showed you the test screen has a space in between the top and the bottom and also the sides. So it's a really wide image like you'd see in a home theater. So I'm going to adjust it with the projector, the zoom settings, and show you how you can fix this setting. So what I'll do is I'll adjust it to where it makes it a lot larger on both the settings. And so they reach both the ends of each side. So you got to slowly adjust it to find the right image that'll fit. All right. So now you can see that both sides are finally fitted. You can see that the sides come out right on the edge and the top is real nice, but then you still got the space at the bottom. So what you can do is you can actually raise the screen up slightly. And now you can see that the image itself is displaying the wide image. You can, let's say you don't want this to be such close up on the top here. You can change the projector the way it, it's coming up and down and then you'd have a bigger space on top and then you could have the, the image down lower if you want. 
but then that would mean you'd have to adjust the keystone if you didn't switch the projector mode to the top and bottom. I mean, it's really not that hard to adjust the settings like this to make the aspect ratio. It just depends on how big the screen is. I mean, this is a 120 inch screen, so that means this is the exact same screen you would get if you did switch it to the longer version, no matter the size of the screen. Because this is the height and the sides you'd have to make to fit the longer screen. So this is exactly what you'd see with anyone with the 120 inch screen. But this is a 16 by 9 screen, so if you fully did undid the, the screen and displayed the picture, you would be able to see it a lot better. So there's that, and I want to, now I want to show you into the settings of this projector and how to adjust them. Alright, so I adjusted the screen back to the proper setting. All I had to do was change the, the zoom and the uh, adjusting buttons. Set the screen is back to the original settings. Let's check out the menu. There should be a menu or an exit button on your phone. And there's also other buttons on the remote which can show you other stuff that's easy access instead of jumping into the menu. So here in this menu for the BenQ W1070, there are preset modes. Mine is set to cinema for movie watching. There may other, be other presets that you can change user 1, user 2, and that's it for those where you can manually change all the other options. There's a dynamic setting and standard. I keep mine on cinema for movie watching and you can also adjust these like with the other settings. Color temperature, you have the temperature, natum lamp, warmth. Normal usually works best. Lamp power, this is the different modes. Eco mode will make my projector last longer and surprisingly the picture quality is very good. So they also have the advanced menu where you can change clarity control. You can set that to whatever looks best in your, in your mind. The color temperature tuning, the blues, reds, and yellows, you can change those. The color brilliant and color management, see the different colors, green, red, blue. So let's change good out of here. Go back to the top menu, and that was the picture menu. You can change the audio setup. I have mine muted. You can mute it. And the volume of the projector itself, if you're using the volume setting on your projector, if it has a speaker. I have mine going through the theater, so you don't need that to have sound coming out of your projector. The next is display. These have all the aspect ratio settings. If you don't have the aspect ratio button on your remote or the keystone, so you can go through here and change it to real, the 4x3, which is a old style, which is in tube TVs, the wide version, anamorphic, letterbox, and back to the auto button. And here's your keystone where you can change it in that menu if yours has it. You have an overscan adjustment which you can use to zoom it in a lot bigger. And digital zoom and a 3D button if you have a 3D projector. And here, basic setup, it shows you, you change your language, background color. If it, that's when your setting doesn't have a source. You can change it different colors. I use black so it uh, turns it into an eco mode and it'll automatically shut off, shut off in 10 minutes. Projector position, you can use this button for if you have your projector in the front. If I do change this setting, it will automatically turn it upside down if you have a mounted onto the ceiling. Rear projection, so it just depends on the type of screen you have and where it's positioned the auto off sleep timer, you have different menu settings you can use, the input source which is another shortcut button on your remote, and you have the auto sor source search if you have a certain um, preset you want yours to turn on you can have that on. I usually have everything plugged in through HDMI 1 to make it much easier for your receiver. And here this will show you all the different settings that you can adjust for your projector test pattern, another shortcut from the remote, quick cooling if you want it to turn off much faster, and different modes for the advanced setup. And this will also show your, your lamp hours, which I have 327 for now. Um, no, nowhere close to 6,000 yet. And then you can change the other items here. And then lastly, the information. So the information here will tell you which version you have, tell you if you're using the 3D format, your hours, 
So it's basically a short list that shows you all your information. So that'll do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and sorry for the light. And I thank you for watching, and I hope this video helps. If you have any more video requests, make sure you write in the description. And I hope this helped with many people using this projector or buying it brand new and setting it up in their own home. So, thanks for watching, and have a good day.